Um, before I begin, you know, um, I'm going to be sipping on, you know, my little drink right here. Liquid Corefill, that is. Get you some. Um, conspiracy theorists, stop it. For you all out there that have all these conspiracy theories, stop it. Because I'm tired of hearing it. The latest one is... Um, Chadwick Boseman that played the part of Black Panther was poisoned. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know. But that is the conspiracy theory that's out right now. I mean, y'all are just ridiculous with it. I mean, it seems as though like every celebrity that dies, a rapper that dies, he was a blood sacrifice, he was a, you know, a burnt offering. I mean, it, the list goes on, and I'm just sick and tired of hearing it. I'm tired of it. Y'all come up with these cockamamie stories that just, it just don't add up. And it's like, you know, you talk about the Illuminati, uh, you talk about, you know, everybody's part of the Illuminati, you know, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kanye West, and the list goes on. And it's crazy to me that you, you talk about, you know, the Illuminati as if people can't be illuminated. Because if you actually study the word, the root word is to enlighten. The root word is to eliminate, illuminate, excuse me, for Illuminati. So those that are possessed the bright light, that light is those that possess knowledge. So I can be an Illuminati. Anyone can be for ones that possess the light or that's enlightened, that have the knowledge. Other than that, this group that you're talking about uh, who was the supposedly uh, founder of uh, the Illuminati, so to speak, Adam Westman? You know, um, this 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 group of people that this small group of people that run the world, these elite families that run the world, you don't factually know that they're part of any group. The problem that I have with conspiracy theorists that spew out conspiracy theories is that. None of the conspiracy theories are based on facts. You see, I learned a long, a long, long time ago that if I don't know what I'm talking about, if I can't factually prove something to you, then I don't need to be talking about it. And if I do talk about it, then I have to say before I even mention it, yo, I don't know if this is true or not. You see, when I start talking about transhumanism and the singularity, I can prove it. I'll show you. See this right here? This was in February, February the 21st, 2011. Time Magazine. 2045. If y'all can see that. It says, the year man becomes immortal. And they're talking about the singularity. In 2011, when I talk about transhumanism, excuse me, trans, yeah, transhumanism, I can back it up because I have articles of, this is nothing, this is, you can get this information. I have articles on transhumanism and, the te and technological singularity. They're not hiding this. When I talk about GMO foods, I can back it up with facts. GMO. This is an this is an article about genetically modified foods. I have facts. What do you have? What do you have? And that's the problem that I have with you all. 
it's not so much like sometimes some of the conspiracy theories that's out there kind of makes sense but then it's like okay where's the facts behind it where's your facts can you back it up is the question because i could back up everything that i talk about on this channel and this is the reason why I don't mean to, to, to bash the Nuwabians and put them on, on you know, on blast and everything, but it, it, it's just the truth. Like, that's the reason why, one of the reasons why I left the organization. Because you can't prove to me that a planet sized ship exists called Nibiru. This is what I deal with, I deal with facts. And this is what you have to deal with in life. You know, like say for example, if I'm talking to you, right? And we're going to a concert, right? And the concert is at nine o'clock and you say that you're gonna pick me up around seven. No, uh -uh, no. Don't tell me you're gonna pick me up around seven. Tell me specifically the time you're gonna pick me up. Is it gonna be seven, 7.15, 7.20, 7.45? I don't wanna hear around seven because that's not giving me a specific time. That's how I am in life. You have to be factual with me. Other than that, I don't wanna accept what you have to say unless you're gonna say, before I say this Langston, this is what I believe or this is what I heard. Don't pop that BS with me with those conspiracy theories because I don't want to hear it. I don't care. I don't care, you know, if this person is that way and this and that and they show all the signs of uh, a supposedly a secret society or whatever have you. I don't care. I, I don't care. If you can't give me facts, if you didn't see that, if you didn't, if you didn't see that man or woman drinking I don't even want to say it. I don't. I don't want to say it. But you, you know what I mean. You know, far as drinking blood and stuff like that. I don't want to get far in depthness about this situation because I don't want to get flagged on YouTube for being like really graphic. Because I've heard real graphic stories about you know celebrities performing certain certain uh, rituals and and stuff like that. But if you haven't physically seen it with your own eyes, I don't want to hear it. Next time you say that, you know, a celebrity is doing A, B, and C or having orgies, sex orgies and different things like that. Listen, I want the recordings. I want you to videotape it. I want to see it for myself. If you saying that Puff Daddy is, 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 is having these orgies and all the rest of this stuff and, 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 you know, doing things with grown old white men and all the rest of that, give me facts. Give me facts. Other than that, I don't want to hear it. It's just that plain and simple. Period. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I would what I would hear, and I wouldn't I wouldn't need a video. I would just trust that person. What I what I would hear is like the latest, like Jaguar Wright talking about the roots and Erica Badu and Jill Scott. It seems as though that those people really are the type of people that Jaguar Wright says that they are. Because nobody's really coming to the plate and saying you're wrong they're not counteracting the stories that she's she's told you see let me explain something to you if somebody told me that excuse me if, if somebody was was going out there telling people that i was a swindler you know i i stole people money you know and i didn't i would definitely want to defend myself I would definitely want to tell my side of the story to the world. And they're not doing that in the case of The Roots, in the case of Erica Badu, in the case of Common, in the case of Jill Scott. They're not doing that. And let me explain something to you. Let me, let me, let me break it down to you like this. I'm not trying to soften it up. I'm not trying to say that there's no secret societies exist on this planet and that this is, you know, that that um, you don't have oligarchists out there, uh, people, uh, uh, small families that run the entire country, uh, excuse me, entire world. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you're going to present, present something to me, you can't say they are the powers that be. No, give me names. Give me first names and last names so we can actually attack those particular people. Not physically t attack them but just attack them meaning get them getting them out of here taking them out get taking away the, their power because the power is in the people but y'all keep on saying they 
and the powers that be. You never give names. You never mention names. You never mention the, the names of the people that are behind the curtain. And that's, that's, that's the problem that I have. But let me explain it to you like this. Everybody should have a, should be in a secret society. My family is my secret society. What I do with my family and whatever goes on right or wrong, or good or bad, or, you know, it stays within my family. The problem is, excuse me, the problem with people is that people love to run their mouths about their personal business. And this is the reason why things are messed up the way that they are in society. Because people love running their mouth. Period. I'm teaching my little girl right now how to stop snitching. How to stop tattletelling on every every little thing that my uh, my youngest son, son does. Period. That's the problem with the world today. We don't have our own secret societies. We want to go out and tell our family business. And that is a problem. I'm not going to tell you, yeah, I'm going to tell you little bits and pieces, you know, on this channel because I'm trying to to, to, to uh, give you information, give you knowledge, but trust and believe the stories that I've told you about my family and the things that I've been through, it ain't even half, it ain't even a half. I would never tell my personal business like that. I wouldn't because I know that what people do is they hold that against you. So, in conclusion, stop it, conspiracy theories with these conspiracy theories. Excuse me, stop it, conspiracy theorists with these conspiracy theories. If you don't have any facts to back it up, I don't wanna hear it. And the second thing is that every family should be a secret, be, be part of a secret society. Every family member should be a part of a secret society. And that is, just look, just patting yourself, you know, when dealing with negative the violence, when dealing with, you know, mob families. If you gotta go back and look at the Godfather part one, two, and three, etc., yo, they kept their family tight knit. And no matter what happened in that family, it was silence. It wasn't nobody outside of the family no finding out or knowing about it. Other than that, I hope I've been some help, you know. Um, leave your opinion in the comment section. That's my stance on it. And that's, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share the video.